Hey guys, so today I am finally bringing you my highly requested updated hair routine. I have had so many of you asking for this ever since I uploaded the video all about my haircut. If you have not seen that video, I will have it linked up here so you can go ahead and watch that if you are interested in what I asked for and what type of haircut I received. I really do love this routine, one, because it's not using a lot of products. I'm only using two actually, so it's very streamlined, straight to the point, and I just feel like it makes my hair look and feel amazing, and I also have really good curl retention for second and third day hair. I seriously love getting messages and comments from you guys saying that I have helped you embrace your curly hair. I love that so, so much because there are so many different things about ourselves that we try to change, so it's just nice to embrace what we were given naturally, so I love that. So if you guys wanna know how I get soft, defined, touchable, really healthy, hydrated curls, just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing that I am going to do is actually re-wet my hair. So because we do need the hair so soaking wet, I find it much easier and much less messy to just take my styling products in the shower with me and apply them in there. So what I'll do is I'll rinse my conditioner out of my hair, rinse my body off, turn the shower off immediately, and I do not um, scrunch or wring out my hair at all I take it as is and start applying my styling products the first product I'm gonna use is the diva curl super cream I have talked about this so many times on my channel and we're actually going to kind of split our hair into four sections so just these two so I'll put this in the back and then split these two here so my pump is actually broken on this so I just open up the bottle and I use about one pump per section so I know this is the product that I used to use before but I do apply it differently so instead of raking this through my hair I actually just coat the entire section leaving the roots out so you're just going to coat it like this. I always raked products through my hair in the past because I never thought that this method would evenly distribute the product, but the magic happens once we scrunch the hair because it is so soaking wet that it really distributes it very, very nicely throughout the entire head. And this way you're not disrupting your curl pattern. Now this is a newer product in my routine. I have mentioned this in the past, but I did feel like it made my hair a little bit too crunchy for my liking. Once I started applying it to my soaking wet hair, I noticed a world of difference. I have so much more hold with this product, and this is the Frizz Free uh, Volumizing Foam. This is uh, very lightweight, and it does an awesome job at maintaining and defining my curls. So I'm gonna take about three pumps of this and scrunch this into my hair. You really want to give this a good hard scrunch because you're really trying to distribute all of the product. I'm going to go ahead and use my Diva Towel to get rid of any excess moisture. This really cuts down on drying time and it also removes any extra product that could possibly weigh your hair down. And we're just using the same scrunching motion with this as we were with our hands. So as you can see, it kind of looks like we have a couple of like clumped up curls all over our head, but this is good. We want our hair to set this way, and then later on we're going to go through and shake them all out. The next step for me is diffusing my hair, and this was something that I could either uh, take or leave in my past routines, but because we apply the product to our hair with it soaking wet, I do feel like it can weigh down my roots and I don't have as much volume there. So I do feel like diffusing is crucial for me in this routine. I just have a Numi blow dryer with a universal diffuser attachment on it. And I will link this down below because I know in a past video, a bunch of you were asking where I got this from. If you guys are curious how I diffuse my hair, I will have my diffusing 101 video linked up on the screen somewhere so you guys can go ahead and watch that. But one thing to note is that I always diffuse on the cold setting. I feel like even though it does take a little bit longer, my hair is much shinier, softer, and less dry feeling when I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this now and then we will come back and finish this up. I 
Okay, so I finished diffusing. My hair is about like 95% dry. You could totally end the routine here, but there is one last thing that I like to do. This is just preference. As I stated earlier, because we weren't breaking the product through our hair and um, we applied it more so in sections, I feel like the curls tend to clump up a little bit, which is awesome for definition and really securing that tight curl. But um, I like something that's a little bit bigger, a little more voluminous. I mean, this is a fair amount of volume already. I just do like to go ahead and separate the curls a little bit. So I do this by shaking out my hair and kind of just like roughing my fingers through it. So I like to take my fingertips and kind of right at the root, just kind of give it a couple shakes. By doing this, you don't actually have to comb through the curl and kind of just let it separate by shaking it out. And you can kind of just go through and do this until you get your desired effect. I think I am pretty good. Okay guys, so that is my entire hair routine. I hope that you found this helpful and maybe picked up a couple of tips or tricks that will transform your hair. So I love doing curly hair videos and I know that you guys really love them too. So I was thinking of maybe starting a series of first impressions on some curl kits or systems or different products. So if you guys have any recommendations, that you would love to see me try out, please leave them down below. I think that would be really fun because there are so many different curly products that can be overwhelming and really difficult to figure out which ones work best for you. And that is where I'm going to leave you, my friends. I hope you are having a great day. Have a fabulous week, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.